once you begin to become familiar with the space which is within yourself, it's always here, then meditation becomes very simple and it doesn't have to be formal. It can easily happen at any moment that you bring your attention inwards. You come back to yourself, you come back to here. Meditation can only happen in this moment. It can't happen in any future moment or past. So if you are involved with your thoughts or your emotions, which basically it's a story coming from your past, which has nothing to do with this moment, then you're out of meditation. You're involved with some sort of story. So as a part of the practice, everyday practice that we do is bringing our attention into here, to this moment, coming to this place here, which is very safe and it's home, coming back home. And as you make this your practice, simply coming back to this moment, coming back home. And since you're coming back to your real nature, then the magic takes place and existence naturally makes things easy for you. And it makes it very simple that you can easily dive into the space because you're you're more familiar with the space you are practicing every day of bringing back yourself home to here and naturally you're going to be spending more time in here and when you leave here and you go get lost in the world of thoughts or you're really swept away by your emotions you're going to notice it's very natural unnatural and uncomfortable. So what used to be a norm and a comfortable zone means being lost in your thoughts, in the stream of your thoughts, and, and being very much identified with your feelings and your story that is being played in your mind, your story, okay? What used to be your norm, now it's becoming unnatural. Now you come to this place that when you're lost in the stream of your thoughts, you feel weird, you, feel, you don't feel comfortable. And in that uncomfortable place, you come back, you lead yourself back into now. So this level of being, this, your new state of mind, your new state of discovery of your being becomes more natural than ever before of simply being here, simply being storyless, not having your story. It doesn't matter how significant it is. You just have no story, you have no past, and you have no future, and you're just here. And here keeps repeating itself, because the next moment is another here, and the next moment is here. So here is always fresh. What's coming in front of you and going in going it becomes always fresh so it refreshes itself and all of a sudden your quality of life changes because everything becomes new your life keeps refreshing itself and everything is new and you begin to see that there is infinite possibilities 
even though you've been doing the same thing over and over again, you go to the same job or you're doing through, going through your same routine that you've been doing for years or whatever, same partner, same school, same whatever, then you start to see it that it's really not the same and it's different and it's fresh. You begin to experience freshness in, in your life. And what was routine and dull and boring, which is only in the mind, it's a thought that comes and tells you, ah, everything's boring, ah, it's the same thing, ah, nothing's happening in my life, which is simply a series of thoughts, then these thoughts begin to either disappear or if they're appearing in your mind, you identify them simply as thoughts and they become power, powerless. Because thoughts, thoughts, your thoughts have no power. I don't care what kind of thoughts you have. You have holy thoughts or you have destructive thoughts. They have no power. They're meaningless. Even what you think is your mind and it's your mind, it's your mind like an object belongs to you and it's very important, it becomes meaningless. It has, has no substance to it. Because you're coming back and your attention is going towards the real you, which is presence, that which is here. That is which has always been here. That which is aware of what is happening here and what is coming and going in front of it. A constant flow of change is happening in front of something which is not changing. Something is always here present and still, not moving, observing, aware, here, and is aware of everything that is passing in front of it. And it's call it time. Time is passing. So many times we say, Oh my God, I didn't realize how much time went by. I was having so much fun and five hours, four hours went by. I didn't realize it. Time went by. I didn't realize time was passing. Okay, so how do you know time is passing? How do you know a few hours went by? You have to be still rooted in one place to notice that something is changing. Like you may say, okay, I'm looking at the day, you know, from morning, from six o'clock in the morning when sun is rising till six o'clock in the evening where sun is setting. I saw that a movement happened. The sun arose and it came to the full day and the sun goes down and the night comes now you're aware of the night of the evening 